number 19 we have to foil first then set everything on one side make it equal to zero factor and solve so we're going to foil r times r is r squared r times 5 is 5r negative 7 times r is negative 7r negative 7 times 5 is negative 35 we're going to add 32 to both sides because we want to set everything to 0 so here we get r squared 5r minus 7r is negative 2r and negative 35 plus 32 is negative 3. Now we need two numbers that multiply to negative 3 and add to negative 2. Those numbers are negative 3 and positive 1. So we're going to rewrite this, the negative 2r, the minus 2r, as minus 3r plus 1r. Now we factor by grouping these two. They both have an r in common. We get r minus 3. These two they really have nothing in common so to emphasize I'm just putting one so now that these two are the same we can factor up the r minus 3 and we get r minus 3 times r plus 1 now we set each set of parentheses equal to 0 that means r minus 3 is equal to 0 which means r is equal to 3 I won't skip that step. And r plus 1 is equal to 0. So here you add 3 to both sides. You get r is equal to 3. And here you subtract 1 from both sides. You get r equals negative 1. Those are our two answers. Okay, the next one, the base of a triangle is 4 centimeters shorter than the height. You just draw any random triangle. We're going to label the height H. And the base is 4 centimeters shorter than that h, than the height. So the base is h minus 4. This is the base. Area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. The area of this particular triangle is 96 square centimeters. The base of this triangle is h minus 4. And the height is h. Now we're going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the 1 half. So these two cancel. So we get 100 and 92 equals h minus 4 times h. We're going to distribute this h to both of these. So we get 192 equals h times h is h squared. h times 4 is 4h. Now similar to the previous problem, we're going to set everything equal to 0, so we're going to subtract 192 from both sides. We get h squared minus 4h 
minus 192 is equal to 0. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give us 192 and they add to negative 4. So actually negative 192 and negative 4. So you can start playing around um, like you can either start listing all the factors of 192 or if there's a time problem like I just um, I looked at the choices because this was a multiple choice problem I looked and I saw there was a 16 there so I just divided 192 by 16 to see if it went into it evenly and it does and actually that is the factor so 16 and 12 okay I divided 192 by 16 I got 12 we want to pick the the negative one that's uh, the negative, the bigger one to be the negative because negative 4 um, is what we want when uh, we add the two numbers. So negative 16 plus 12, that does give us negative 4. So the factor is h minus 16 and h plus 12. Now you set each of these equal to 0, you get h equals 16 and h equals negative 12, but height of a triangle cannot be negative, so we throw away this negative. So the height is 16, and the base is 12, but they only asked us for the height.